Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we're at day 1127. Oh my gosh, that is a... 176 hours playtime. We have definitely been getting through this, but we have got some big troubles. Because we've been playing so long, we have run out of dirt. And because we've run out of dirt, that means we have no way of making our millwoods grow. If there's no way of making our millwoods grow, we are super running out of food. Thankfully, we have a system here where we can come along and make a whole bunch of tofu. But we are using the nosh beans from the wilds. And I feel like we can get another series of food on the go. Over here, you can see that we have some bristle blossoms. And indeed, these are the ones that I want to try and uh, that's that's not the button I wanted thank you uh, these are the ones that I want to try and expand I'm going to use the same system that we've got down here even though I would actually no we're gonna we're gonna use the the well lit system over there that that's exactly what I'm gonna do uh, as you can see this one over here will not grow through illumination so if we go like so uh, and then one two three fourth is a ceiling light and as simple as that, we've got a new section of this area being worked on. If I go and uh, knock that down, uh, seal it off, sorry, like that, uh, I then want to put some ladders running up. We'll take out these layers here. And we've got ourselves a nice big area to be working on. All right, food underway, hopefully. Of course, the one big thing I did forget there, uh, we need to have some liquids running up and into it. This is now turned, uh, you know, uh, made a third more food for us to be making. So I'm hoping this will do. Okay, bristleberry does 1,600 calories. Okay, 1,600 by 21, which is the number of new places we've got, is uh, 33,600. But how long does it take for them to grow? That's every 24 days. Oh, man, that's that's not great because that gives us 1,400 per day. That is not enough. How many of these are we going to need then? So going by these guys needing 5,000 calories a day, uh, 500 calories a day if we have a look on Shrouticus here. Oh no, that's a tile. Shrouticus, thank you very much. Uh, come down to his calories, you can see 500 per day. That's 1,000 for being a duplicate, minus 500 because we're playing on easy. Still running out of food on easy. Uh, then we got, uh, then the, the, there's a whole uh, bunch of other things, but mostly 500 per day. Uh, we've got some that eat more, some that eat less, but that works out roughly to needing five of these. I think we've got space for that. Miss a Line, running around without a uh, atmosphere suit is getting burnt here and I'm not sure why I don't, I don't want that thanks very much uh, I do however want to move her up here and, and send her back inside and be like hey why are you guys not getting oxygen we have got a lot of water flowing now oh we had a lot of water flowing now this is an out not an in this is the in that's okay it's fine it's fine I think what I'm gonna do is go through and uh, replace some of these we got pipes blocked oh, does that mean we're not getting enough gas going through yeah all of this oxygen is flowing but what about this one down the end here okay that's uh not ideal if we're to be honest so i'm wondering whether we can let's for instance take this pipe here and we're going to run it up into this one i was kind of hoping that this wire would come over this way uh but that's that's fine and then we're going to take this down here and we're going to run it into this one and you can see what i'm trying to do here i'm going to uh, slowly but surely build up a different piping network one that doesn't run on uh on pipe on bridges we're, we're going to try and make everything go direct from one electrolyzer to a uh, three atmosphere suits Okay, this gas thing definitely came out of nowhere. Well, it didn't come out of nowhere. It was a little bit of a tangent for us, but we've been getting on quite nicely with the food stores over here. As you can see, Miss going through and digging it all out. This is just going to take a little bit of time, but I would like to take you down yonder. I don't know if you noticed. In fact, let's go back to the uh, the base over here. I don't know if you've noticed that almost everything has currently suffering some sort of power issue, particularly like over here. There's just a fair amount going on. So if I drag your attention down uh, yonder, uh, I learned a trick a little while ago. Uh, we've got a neutronium pad over here and if I go P0 I can uh, oh, take it off the construction I can select the the vent the geyser whatever this is in here and because it's suddenly gone to high alert they've given us a, uh, a, a notification up in the top left and it tells me this is a hydrogen vent here yes indeed a hydrogen and now hydrogen means power especially when we've not got it associated with any sort of water systems or anything like that so this is just going to be pulling out pure pure power and I think we can take advantage of that. A 
I really wish that the game came with some sort of cut and paste capability because all I want to do is take this block right here and replace it down below. Uh, it is going to be the uh, the overarching task for the rest of the day when we get the get the food sorted. Food probably going to be the highest of priorities here though. Not starving would be very helpful. Things got a little bit dicey whilst waiting for the great repipening. People were getting exceedingly close to suffocating. So I've, I've unfortunately uh, usurped all the oxygen coming out of this line but I have started to build a little bit of a system over here where this one seems to fill up much quicker than all the others. I don't know particularly why I'm sure it's just like you know counting order or something like that but because of that I'm gonna let uh, some of the waste gas or some of the excess gas come over down and go into the system here. Maybe we'll start a little loop up. I don't know what will happen. We'll see what will happen. Uh, hopefully what will happen is we'll end up with people who can breathe. Okay, I think we're now back into the situation where power is our problem, not the distribution of gases. So we need to get down to that hydrogen vent that I was talking about earlier. This one right here. Sometimes it's really hard to spot these. But there, uh, this one right here. I'm just going to come in and I think the first thing we do is just clear the area. You ever feel like your base is just falling apart around your ears and no matter what you do, you don't seem to be able to get back on top of it? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm feeling right now. I need to go down to the uh, oxygen vent down here. Uh, as I say, I want to try and build us a nice little power unit. So what we'll be doing is producing power and it can save us a lot of problems. The problem is, thermo aqua tuna, oh, we haven't got any steel. We haven't even got a little amount of steel. Oh, why is this? Well, this is because everything's just kind of been forgotten about while we've been running around trying our best, trying our best to survive. Survive. All right, Forrest, you seem to be the man who wants to do it. What, what are you even working on right now that's more important? Making sure the water can flow. Again, a job that would disappear if we could get power. Ugh, more manual power generation, but this time trying to kickstart the petroleum back up. That would be quite interesting if it could happen. Uh, we seem to be missing water in here. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys a couple of times. <laughs> Okay, getting the petroleum generators back up seems to have got everything running. We're just going around rebooting the base, it turns out. Everything just kind of had worn itself down. Uh, it was running out of water, I think that was the big problem. We ran out of water at one point, and now things just kind of froze up in place. And now if we go around, I think everything should be working again. Forest is on the steel anyway, and that's the important part. Would you believe iron? Is a, is a bottleneck in this process. I, I can barely believe it. But also, I think my steam turbine has just turned back on. Oh, this is beautiful. <sighs> Slowly, everything is just coming back into being. Even the glass forge is turning up. Not sure if you can tell, but there was proper despair a moment ago. <laughs> We uh, guys, it has been a hecking long time. And you know me, I'm not the type of guy that goes in for words like hecking. But we started this at day 1127. I last spoke to you at day 1133. We're now over 10 days later. We've got this far in the process. But that's fine. We're starting to do things. As you can see, I've got liquid reservoir absolutely packed to the brim with ethanol. We have gone and made a great big long line. In fact, I need now need to go around and rip this down. You can see the ethanol is here and we were using bridges to jump it across but we don't need to do this anymore so let's get these down i've started tidying up a bit more uh, after myself uh since since i realized how many just like dead lines we've got lying around i didn't i didn't really notice how bad it was getting but trust me it's getting quite bad <laughs> I think you see the system that's going down quite well, though, here. We've got the hydrogen vent that's going to uh, produce a whole bunch of boiling hot hydrogen. I believe it comes out at, like, 500 degrees. Yes, it does. We've got a cooling loop here. Uh, we're going to pass the coolant from the, the, the reservoir here, which we've cooled down with the thermal aqua tuna. We're going to pass it through these pipes. That's going to cool the hydrogen down so it can be picked up by the gas pump. They're going to then pass it up. We're going to have a little filter over here because, to begin with, we're not going to just be picking up pure hydrogen. But when we do start picking up just pure hydrogen, we're going to bring it along, pass it up, and put it through these three. It should definitely definitely be three um, hydrogen generators over here. These are then going to put into the battery. The battery dictates whether it uh, needs to be on or not. We've got the thermal cooler down here. We're going to have a steam turbine. But what is this little arrangement going on up the top here? Well, I currently want to try and get some salt water in there. Salt water is one of the more dense waters we've got. And I want to get a little, little layer going along the bottom so that I can then put actual water on top of it. We fill up the bottom space. We end up with like a, a nice vacuum in there. Of course, water and gas can not exist in the same spot. So, ah, oh, they seem totally not good at this. Ah, uh, I cancelled that so it wouldn't... Ah! Uh, well, anyway, whatever. We'll pick all of those up. Uh, and because the water displaces the gases, we should be able to get everything out of here other than steam and a little bit of salt at the bottom. But I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. 
Well, I found out why this one is the one that tops up first, because when we run out of water, it's the one that starts to pile up the water. Thankfully, we got a bit more of a flow going on, but uh, we, we need to address the water issue next time. <laughs> I'm going to level with you guys. I'm a little bit worried about what happens when these two tiles get put into place here. I think Miss is going to be able to reach into here and start digging up all of this stuff. Uh, and that's going to that's gonna cause not big problems, but small problems. You see that little phosphorite get dropped, dropped down there? Phosphorite? I don't know. One of those two. Uh, and that makes it a little bit awkward to keep this uh, thermally regulated in here. But that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll cut it down and then we'll put it all back up. So we'll cut this lot down and then we'll pick up the items that get dropped. That's that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, with all the pieces being picked up, I'm just going to go water now. Just give us all the water. Is anybody going to get on it? We'll, we'll just leave it. We'll see uh, how quickly someone does indeed get on it. I'm very confused as to where the water is going in here. If we turn this on and go to gases, you can see we've got a very small amount of steam in here, but we had loads in here a second ago, and this has never triggered. This this whole, like, take it out if you if you need, uh, this would be overflowing if it was. We would have more water coming up here. You know what? I'm just going to, to, to be sure, I'm going to break this here. In fact, I'm going I'm to break this quite a lot, and the reason I'm going to do so is I want to put a liquid bridge here. Now, the liquid bridge will kind of trick it into thinking Sorry, autosave. But there's somewhere for the water to go. Uh, and uh, in that case, if there is somewhere for the water to go, it will pass it up along through here. And then we'll be able to see here whether there is any, like, lost water. I'm just assuming. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't get it. Where's it gone? Uh, are, we, are we losing some every, like... Every evaporation cycle? It could be. It could be. But I just, I, I literally don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. So my top theory that doesn't make much sense is my boy Decipher here likes to come in to deal with the, uh, with the Slicksters. That's fine. That's exactly what I want him to do. But maybe there's some way that the water's escaping. But no, there's not, there's literally no way for it. To, well, there is a way to get it through there. But we'd see water elsewhere. I suppose these could be an indication of, but I don't, I just don't think they are. I really don't think they are. I think I've spent about 20 minutes at full-blown panic stations here trying to get as much water in here as I can. It's just taking the best part of the age of the universe, you know? This is really starting to take a little bit of time. Some people come along and do the full 200 uh, kilogram delivery. Some people come along and just do a 17 kilogram delivery. I, I'm not sure exactly why. I think the actual emergency services had something to do with that. Oh, look at that guy. He had loads. Uh, because sometimes when I notice that these guys are just doing like a level 9 priority as opposed to the full blown ah we're panicking girl get this done as soon as possible priority they will come along with larger packets so I, I don't know uh, whether that is actually a thing or not but whilst we're talking about things that are actually a thing here I've hooked up the whole eth ethanol loop here you see we've got cooling for the batteries cooling for what will be the steam turbine cooling for the generators and of course finally cooling for the hydrogen oh it happened whilst we were in the other view oh that's terrible so we've got carbon dioxide over here. I think the way we're going to deal with that is an airflow tile and then we'll turn it back into an igneous rock uh, tile at some point. If this all goes wrong, we'll just like crack this tile open instead. But I'm um, hoping we can do it this way. I mean, cracking this tile open wouldn't be the biggest problem because we've got a ledge here. So that, that's kind of a winner. All right, go, man, Frank, go. Let's see if this will work for us. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Exactly. And did you see how the item fell down here? Oh, that's just, that is the best. Okay, do we want a little bit of water coming up and into this space or do we want to cool it here? I think we might just about cool it here. Let's, let's at least destroy one of these. Haha, <laughs> nice time got cooled though. Uh, deconstruct. That was a little while ago, but what, whatever. It didn't, took that long to percolate through my thought processes. In good news though, we are doing really well for food now. Okay, I think we're starting to get all the basics in place here. The only real power system we don't have in place is the one for the thermal aqua tuna, but I think we're just going to clean up this lot underneath and try and put it in there. But over here, you can see I've got a power transformer and I've got a smart battery. They are all going to be powering... <laughs> oh, excuse me. As I say, I've got a power transformer and a smart battery. They're going to be uh, regulating the power for these three gas pumps here. Uh, then we're going to have another one of these setups down here somewhere powering the thermal aqua tuna. Then this heavy, heavy watt wire is all going to be going through these smart batteries. Uh, it's it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a great idea uh, working through here. Let's let's think about where we're gonna put this. Let's in fact destroy these ones. Uh, maybe even bring these tiles out across this way. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna need a large power transformer because the small ones can only go up to a thousand. We need uh, like four thousand. Takes up less space than two of those. Uh, two of the thousands do. So we'll uh, we'll just go for this. If space wasn't real, well, I mean to, to be fair, space isn't really an issue. But if I wasn't worrying about space, then we'd be able to do this a lot better. 
a lot neater, shall we say. But spread it out more. But look at this box that I've managed to fit it all in. The only thing that's not going to be so perfectly aligned, if I can find it. The heavy what wire. That, it's a shame, but it's just the way it's going to be. What is this line that is not the main backbone line? It is... Oh, it's the emergency power supply for the pump. Okay. Can we take this somewhere else, maybe? Okay, it's crazy plan time. I'm going to put a manual airlock just on the inside of this wall because obviously I'm eventually working towards that. But we can't do that straight away. Oh, no, because we want to know what's going on with the hydrogen bed. Now that the airlock is being built, I'm going to start ripping down these tiles here. And, of course, I've got an analysis always... Um, queued up, that's the word. I was, I was trying to get like pending up, but pending up is not the phrase. Uh, so we've got this ready and uh, ready to go. Hopefully, Forest will just be straight on it. I, I, I'm really hoping because that that's what we're, we want. We're, we're not here to get the hydrogen right now. We are here to get the analysis. Uh, look, all the water has disappeared again. Where has it gone? I do not know. Uh, this has gone down low. Let's go up this pipe and see if it's there. No, no. So as you can see, the water is just getting deleted somehow. And I do not know how. What happened here? It got too hot. Oh my gosh, what? Well, we are not hooked up to the grid yet, but we can, however, get to the point where we're going to kickstart this system up and running. Oh, I really thought it was going to be uh, Dr. Captain Subs who was going to do it. There. Oh, hey guys, you're all working hard on the system here. This is good. I'm just going to jump that across there like that. This is what we ended up doing. It's cutting the wire and then jumping this through. Uh, it was easier than trying to change things. Okay, so... We've got zero power, but we have got a gas pump going. Let's have a look and see what is going here. So the gas doth be flowing. That's beautiful, beautiful. It's going to come up, hit this uh, It's going to come up and hit this gas filter. That's going to sort out the hydrogen. The hydrogen is going to pump down. These guys are then going to start pumping up these batteries. Do the batteries not be connected? The batteries definitely be connected. So why is it taking so long? Because we're trying to cool down stuff as well. This is saying, hey, if it's above 6.9 degrees, I'll tell you what, let's go and find out the proper uh, temperature we want. I think it's actually like 150 or something like that. So so if we go for a, a hundred degrees, uh, that's a 14.1. So that seems like, yeah, okay, well, we'll do 99. Let's do 99. So if we go, hey, if you're above minus 99, chill that stuff down, please. Just chill it down. Okay, so this smart battery has totally topped up here. So I'm hoping that now means that these other ones are going to start getting topped up. Yes, indeed. All right, that's, that's, that's really cool. Like, really cool. What we're going to end up doing is destroying this manual generator uh, and bringing the power through here, dictate it on whether this smart battery has all the power or not. Let's in fact do something like this and it can uh, exist in a narrow band, right? So if we've got to set it up like this, when it reaches 98, uh, it's going to turn the uh, the imaginary power uh, transformer that's here on and then when it reaches 70, it'll turn it back off. Okay, we actually hooked up to the system here. I, th I think we might be. I think we might just be straight hooked up. All right, great. That means all these batteries are going to be like, no, I can't handle it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's uh, let's get rid of this. We are kickstarted, right? Yeah, we are definitely kickstarted. I'm just going to assume it can function on its own. Maybe a bad as Why is there ethanol everywhere? Wait a moment. I've made a mistake. Let's just uh, fix that really top priority there. Uh, who's who's on? Why, why is it not Mad Frank? Okay, we've got some other people coming through and doing stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Something very bad has just happened over here, and I'm not sure what. Look, we've got ourselves a broken liquid pipe here. Why? 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 Because this is condensing. It's got no power. Why are these guys not turning power? Because it's all backed up too far. Mmm. It's kind of painful. There's a better plan than this. I'm not sure what it is. We're just we're just gonna have to go full ham here and hope that this extra reservoir can uh, sort this out before we can uh, before we have to deal with it properly. I'm not sure even how to fix that. If you guys have any ideas, let me know because I'm just like what. But anyway, I only know that that happened because they properly throw. Why why is it 12 now? Why is it 12? 11 insulated pipes. What? Oh, that's this lot. Don't worry. <laughs> it's 12 because I panicked. <laughs> Wow, Brum took full on all night to build this, but here he is doing the duty for the colony. Good work, guy. Good work. Okay, is this, is this going to get done? It is so slow. So slow. But now, hopefully, all these liquids should start flowing again, and maybe we can get some power in here. Uh, temporary fix. Like, super temporary fix. Talking of temporary fix, the only way we can actually get in there and fix the pipes is going to be like this. This says it's having a bad time, so we need to try and get in there and fix that. I don't know whether it's going to be like spilling water out or something. I don't I literally don't know what this means. It's just broken, right? Ah, so it's got no way of coming out. So if we... It says it's on and it's cooling. I don't know. I, I'm going to send people in to fix it anyway. 
Oh no, what's happened here? We've had pipes break. Hmm, this is not how it normally goes, but I know why. Or rather, I could, I've got an idea why. Normally, we've got some temperature shift plates in here. It may help spread the temperature out a lot more over this area. Uh, and it turns out we didn't do that very well. So uh, let's, let's try and do that better, shall we? Okay, this guy's about to erupt, and I think we can keep an eye on the temperatures here. I was a little confused because I didn't actually see any of the ethanol get up to that higher temperature. So all we can do really is watch uh, the gases and see what happens. So these are coming out at really hot. Look at that, 200 degrees there. Hopefully these gas pumps are just going to start clearing the way out, and that should hopefully stop any major spikes in temperature. Yeah, it looks like, looks like maybe that is the way. All right, you know. Oh, and we've uh, finished the analysis, have we? Yeah, no, yes. It, the, the bar went all the way across, but we've not... There we go, activation period. 64 cycles every 94 cycles. Hey, that's two-thirds up. That's great. All right, we're in a bit of trouble with the ethno overheating, so I'm just going to cut this uh, exit pipe, if you will, so we can get all of it draining back in before we get a big, big problem, because the hydrogen's coming up to about 100 degrees right now, and until we can get this generator turning over to get the filter running, because that's the problem, it turns out, uh, then uh, we're going to have some problems. So thankfully, the morning is here. Let's see if anybody wants to come along. Brum is going to come and fix this for us. Beautiful. I'm hoping that he will also then jump on and start making power. Okay, so I've taken the door out. This might be might be premature, might be scary, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. Let's see if someone will come along and pick this up for us before these get built. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, I'm really hoping that we don't spill too much hydrogen out of here. Uh, all that chlorine and ethanol and gases like that can definitely uh, do what they want to do and just go up, go out. But the, the hydrogen in particular, we're looking to get sealed into here. So quickly going through and making some maths up. I've added up the thermal aqua tuner, the three gas pumps here. Uh, that comes to a total of about 1,500, uh, 1,520 uh, watts being consumed. We're producing, well, just these two on their own are producing 1,600, which will be more than enough. I'm really tempted just to disconnect this one from the end here. But no, we're going to leave this one running. That's 1,000 watts extra, so that's 2,500. Uh, that's... I mean, this is 21 with this, so that there is just about more power going out than coming in. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to sort out the water issue. I didn't realize it was as big an issue as it was. I thought we'd actually solved it. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. There we go. Bye.